Today I'm going to talk about why you should not have an online cryptocurrency wallet and why I think uh, the people that have that have it today are doing a really big mistake and why most people use crypto uh, online cryptocurrency wallets. So first of all, a cryptocurrency wallet should be private. I think most people, if you get into crypto, you probably want to have a more private uh, a monetary life. Some cryptos, uh, not Bitcoin, but some cryptos like Monero allow you to, to have that privacy. But I mean, if you're going to use a, an online crypto wallet, that all goes to to nothing because you need to create an account. When I say wallet, I mean really wallets and exchanges. Because you need you need to give all your private most exchanges and wallets you need to give your your whole life your credit card your ID I mean the whole shebangs that's really a big mistake I think um, just giving out your information like that uh, another big mistake I think most people uh, don't give enough attention to is not decentralized. The whole point of crypto is to have a decentralized network, not relying on banks and uh, other institutions. And if you're gonna centralize the whole thing by uh, depending on a, a company, that's not really effective. And if that company for uh, some reason goes down or uh, their servers are down, you cannot access your cryptocurrency and I mean, they go. They goes to to all the princip against to all the principles of cryptocurrency. I think, and what you should aim for. Uh, there's also a big um, thing that people overlook. There are crypto online cryptocurrency wallets and exchanges are more prone to leaks and weak security. I mean, uh, more prone to leak. That's really a big thing because. Uh, like Binance and Coinbase uh, are the target of uh, hackers and and people who are really trying to get into their systems of vulnerabilities. And you're asking for it when you uh, get your private keys into Coinbase. I mean, that's the really important thing to see here is that when you have a wallet in Coinbase or Binance, for example, your account is not yours to own. I mean, the private keys are theirs and they're lending to you, your wallet. If they want at any time, uh, one thing that I forgot to say in, in not the centralized aspect is they can really, if they know your account number, like your wallet address from transactions from authorities, they can really just shut your shut your wallet down and give you all uh, give your information. They'll be happy to. I mean, that's a horrible principle to have, but they do it because you don't pay them enough to to protect you. And I mean, you don't want that. I think if you're if you really uh, give importance to, to your privacy and security, there's also a big aspect most people do not think about is that for getting into Coinbase and Binance, for example, you don't need to do any research. I mean, zero research. That's a big problem is that people don't know how to do research. They go to these exchanges and to wallets. And then when there's a problem, they contact support. They don't know how to do it. If you don't know how the, the whole system works, you don't have enough information to have a, to put money in, into this, this world of cryptocurrency. If you don't have the, the willpower to research and uh, learn about things and do your own thing and do it like it's supposed to, I don't think you should be able to create a wallet just like that and deposit all your life funds into it and then lose it all. The bad thing of doing it yourself is that you need to rely on yourself to secure your private keys. But I mean, if you don't have the willpower to learn it by yourself and trust, do you trust yourself more than a company's controlled by China or uh, Russia? I mean, 
at some point you gotta you gotta do your own research and see if it's worth it or if you should do the correct thing and make an account on cold storage and the nodes your own node and use Monero that's the the most private crypto uh, currency we have in today's day and yeah that's all I had to say so the main topics are online cryptocurrency wallets are not private are not decentralized more prone to leaks and weak security there's no research needed to create one and the most important thing of all they own your private keys remember that they own it you don't know the money and yeah that's that's all i had to say thank you for watching and goodbye